I've been sitting on this topic for a while now because I've had writer's block for a while now and I didn't really want to make an advice video until I was out of it. And lucky for us, um, as of today, I am like officially out of the five worst writing months of my 2018. <laughs> And yeah, so I'm officially out of a big slump. And now I'm kind of going to give you some tips on how to overcome writer's block. And I say tips, but this is really not going to be a kind of tip video because I kind of want to say that there's no shame in failing at getting out of writer's block. Uh, the advice to power through your art and writing slumps is kind of like a common one I hear all the time and it's never worked for me. Sure, like I can force something out if a deadline is nearing, like I can force creativity in those situations, but it doesn't really change how blocked up I am on the inside and the quality of art that can come out of me. For me, writer's block is a culmination of many different things. It started this time with uh, a lot of bad news in my personal life that happened, and my motivation was zapped for a while. And then kind of afterwards, even when I was starting to like pick up the pieces and, and restructure my life, I couldn't really return to things like I'd left them. And you know what? Like I just accepted that. I just accepted that as how things are. Because in the past, I used to get incredibly angry with myself when I was in a writing slump. Um, I would try everything to undo it, and it never worked. You know, maybe they'd work, maybe these things work for you, and that's fine. But I would try forcing myself to write, I would try reading to ignite my creativity, I would try rereading my thing, and if I was in a slump, that wasn't going to fix it. And I've kind of come to a point where I just realized that just because my writing isn't flowing doesn't mean I'm any less of a person. It doesn't mean I'm weak or I'm lying or I'm faking this experience just because someone else thinks that I can get on track if I just power write a lot more. So let's get into it. Um, Yeah, what do I do when I'm in a slump like this? First and foremost, like I said, I let it happen. I know well enough by now that forcing words out isn't going to help me. So I will give myself no pressure writing sessions. Instead of focusing on writing, I'll just kind of open my script file and see if it's clicking or not and see how I feel about things. If it's not going well, that's where I end it. I write no words that day. It's fine. At least I tried. If it goes especially poorly, and by that I mean like I feel completely drained and just depressed and just I can't look at the writing. It's just too much for me. I give myself a break. I go on a writing vacation. I, I give myself that permission. Because in the meantime, while like writing doesn't define me as a person, like there's tons of other things that I can be doing. And for me, I've personally decided that I want writing to always be something enjoyable for me. So because of this, I don't let it become something dreadful. I don't surround it in shame or berate myself or feel guilty about it. I just, if it's not fun, it's not fun. I'm going to do something else. And it's worked for me so far. <laughs> so instead, instead of writing in these situations, I find other things to do. There's always something else I can be doing. And doing something different can really help me recharge and get things flowing again eventually. You know, like in the past five months, I wasn't writing, but I had a lot of things to do. I was prepping for conventions, I was writing YouTube videos, I was streaming, and I was slowly building up um, a lot of old habits that I'd actually fallen out of when the slump hit me. And yeah, that's, that's kind of something important that I've realized too. It's like, if I can't reliably get out of, be get out of bed every morning, eat breakfast, and do this at the same general time each day, like, it's really unrealistic to expect myself to have any sort of writing routine either. I need to build up those essential tasks first, and it's okay to take time to do that. Maybe, you know, all of this means that for me, writer's block is kind of a symptom of greater disarray. Like, maybe it was just convention season that was, like, zapping away my time. I can't really be certain of what it is. But after months of giving myself time, I finally felt the itch again. Like I was 
you know, I spent some time reading lots of books. I played a lot of Nintendo Switch, which I got. And I just I chilled out, you know, and eventually the itch to write did hit me. And, and at that point, I finally felt like I was ready to try writing again. And, you know, when you're in a slump, that's kind of the hardest part is when you finally get that nagging sensation that you're like ready to start again, like you feel it. It's really hard to pursue that because when the slump goes on for long enough, it it's almost like a near monumentous. It's like a monumentous task to reignite that passion for your work because it starts with such a small little sensation, a small little itch to get back on the horse. So what I did once I kind of felt like, you know what, I think I'm ready to write again, is I printed off the entire scripts for volume one and two of The Scourge of Nine Point. That's my comic. And then I just sat down and I read them. Like, this is something that gets recommended a lot. And I do find it helpful, especially when I know that I'm ready to write again. And yeah, there's something about printed works that really helps kickstart my creativity. And I think part of it is because I, if I'm on a computer, I can very easily flip between things and not focus on the writing. So just sitting down with a book of my own work is uh, is a, is sometimes just exactly what I needed. And I've kind of realized that after when I was writing uh, The Magpie, which is my other comic, and it has a printed volume out, so I would sit down and read the volume and then continue on from there. And that really would help me whenever I was trying to get back into things. And you know, lo and behold, I continued on from there. You know, I read the volumes and then I didn't show any signs of stopping. I started writing. And when I think about it, maybe I could have done that earlier. Maybe this is all just like me looking at it and being like, yes, I did the perfect thing. But like, you don't know what you don't know. And that's sort of kind of maybe what I want to say in this is, is that who cares how you get back on the horse as long as you do it at some point? Like sometimes we all just need a break. And what works for me works for one person doesn't always work for another, you know? <laughs> I've kind of heard like it's snidely said that writer's block and art block aren't real diagnosable things, so you should just get over them. And, like, sure, that's kind of true to a point, like, you're not going to get a diagnosis for art block, but it is a, a named thing that people have experience with. You're not alone in feeling uninspired, and you're not a bad person for feeling uninspired. You know, creativity takes some inspiration, even if sometimes you have to BS it for a bit. It's okay to need to recharge your creativity. For me, creativity isn't an on-off switch, and I've just kind of come to respect that about myself. And if I don't write anything, it's not hurting anyone. And I'm not going to feel guilty about such an inconsequential thing. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Maybe see what I said. It's not really a tip video. It's more just a little bit of an experience video thing. I don't know if this is helpful at all. But yeah, just that's life. And I'm I'm really happy to be out of it. It feels really nice. But but because I was like being nice to myself the whole time, I don't feel like I don't feel like super accomplished. Like, oh, my life can start again. It's like, oh, yay, I'm writing again. Yay. Good. I, I am appreciative of that. It isn't it wasn't the end of my life just because I was having some trouble, you know? OK, Um. thank you for listening to this. This strange ramble. I will be starting to talk about character videos soon. Um, as OCtober slash Inktober encroaches upon us, I'm really excited to see all the beautiful inked artwork that's going to come out of this Inktober season and all of the other things good about life and such. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Character questions. I'm listening to them. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Bye.